Janitor. Janitor. <laughs> My name is Jonathan Newhall, uh, Newhall Mobile Works here in Waynesboro, Virginia. We do mostly Porsche service work, performance, and dabble in hot rods and unique cars. My dear customer and friend, David Kuhn, uh, a couple years ago was looking to replace his Nissan Murano. Looking for an SUV, something an equivalent, had a budget, and stumbled across this lovely 2006 997 Carrera up at Mid-Atlantic Motor Works in Harrisonburg. Couldn't take his eyes off of her. So needless to say, it was the end of the day, we bought the car and uh, needed a place to have it serviced. And that's how we met. In rolls Dave with a car that I knew about and had serviced for a few years. We've been friends ever since and customer friend kind of goes hand in hand a lot of times. Back in October, he did a big track event with it and hired a instructor to help him go faster. And the instructor lovingly took her to 9,600 RPMs for 11 seconds. And uh, needless to say, Gigi's heart was broken. When it came down to it, the cost of a good built motor that would handle racing was very close to swapping in a whole factory built GT3 uh, driveline. We considered all angles and decided to go for it. All right, so first day with uh, Gigi. Gonna tear her down, get the engine dropped on it. Uh, pull the seats out, get ready to put the cage in, wait for John to get back from his trip. Should be a productive day. Right now, we're just gonna recover the refrigerant out of the AC system, so we're gonna hook the lines, and get ready to drop this engine out. Gigi's heart was broken. Day one, um, I was actually out of the country. I went through and removed engine transmission, bumpers, mufflers, uh, part of the interior. Just going through, unhooking all the coolant hoses, fuel lines, stuff like that. All small, tedious things. Once we get all that out of the way, it's down in the mechanical part, just dropping the whole drivetrain, which would be nice and quick. Okay then, good enough for horseshoes, hand grenades, and cold drink. Uh, finish unhooking everything on the trans, unhook fuel lines, axles, and then it's ready to drop. Pretty close to the point of being annoyed where I'm just going to start dropping it and see what holds on and disconnect it as we go. I just got back from lunch, uh, disconnected the axles, got the slave cylinder out of the way, uh, disconnected all the electrical connections off the trans. Now, gonna pull the bumper and start dropping down the drivetrain. John and get back Friday we can 
start getting ready to drop all the GT3 stuff in. Hey, I guess day three of GT3 swap. So at this point, we've dropped the engine out. We've decided it's completely trashed. We've put together a nice low mileage GT3 setup for it um, that we sourced from a dismantler. We've got the entire interior stripped out. Uh, most recently, we had to remove the back half of the wiring harness and repin a bunch of wires so that it would match the regular 997 versus the GT3 harness. So the GT3 harness had different uh, headlight levelers, didn't have Bose stereo, um, had an extra harness for the transmission cooler. So we had to merge in the correct harness to the car. Um, to make life a little easier, we also went ahead and did a GT3 instrument cluster, uh, which just really simplifies the merging. You don't have to go off crazy changing sensors and things like that. Um, we'll get some pictures of the back of the car later, but you can kind of see all the interiors out, where all the harnesses run, and we can go through that. Today, our plan is to cut the original engine mounts out of the back of the chassis. Um, the new motor's a little bit longer, so we actually have to fabricate up some new mounts so that we can use the factory GT3 stuff, and because uh, it wants to be nice. <laughs> um, hopefully, today we'll get it test fitted and make mounts and move on from there. We started playing around with the idea of what are we gonna do for mounts. First thing I do, we had to drill out all the spot welds for the rear engine mounts on the old car. We were thinking we were gonna have to fabricate front and rear, but the front lined up perfectly. There were already rib nuts in the chassis. We were able to reuse stock GT3 mounts in the front. The back is a little more complicated. So the rear of a GT3, your mounts slide back like three more inches and out to the edges of the car. So what we ended up doing with that is making our own reinforcements for the rear chassis of the car, where the rear mount's gonna go. Well, we made them all out of quarter inch plate steel, fully welded them in, fully reinforced them. Uh, instead of using rib nuts, we fully welded in threads for the bolts, and then we test fit it. We were actually able to get all that done in, a, it was a little over a day. Start making mounts. This one sit like that. Right there. Something close to that, yeah. Probably like that. Don't worry. If you're happy, I'm happy. If you were going to actually put the whole GT3 piece in, it would weld in like up into these hood struts, taillight panels, everything across here. You basically have to place the entire rear of the car. So that is an option, but this is gonna be stronger and easier to customize what we want. I'm gonna go ahead and box it into the, right into the seam of the car. So it'll be strong. Are you gonna drill any holes in it through spots in the middle as well, or just the No, I'm gonna fully weld it. Fully weld it to the frame. So it'll be much more solid than the original. Good deal. Yeah. Basically, it's gonna let me box all this in like this. Um, and I'll fully weld it into the frame. And then once we make sure the motor fits and everything, we'll box it on the bottom. But that'll get us ready to test fit.
You like that? Uh, Skateboard. Uh, All right, so we've got the beginning of the rear engine mounts, just tack welded in, uh, enough strength that we can test fit the engine. Once the engine's in, I can locate the rear mount supports, and then we gotta drill holes, um, put thread certs in, and then uh, take everything back out, fully weld it all, clean it, paint it, and then put it back in, make sure everything's still good. It fits. We got drill holes. So I'm just gonna mark them with a drill bit and then we gotta take literally everything back out of the car. And then finalize all the mounts, clean paint and do some more welding, which is good to go. We got all the mounts welded in. Now we just need to clean them up a little bit, drill the holes for the rib nuts, and the rear mounts are done. And we are waiting on a gas tank and some fuel lines. And then we put it all together. So we knew it was going to fit, but we didn't have any hoses routed. We didn't know where we were going to go. We just knew the motor and trans were going to fit and that we were done with basic marking up and, you know, fabricating the pieces of the mounts. So day four, we spent half a day grinding and cleaning off painted areas and getting everything prepped. And then we fully welded in the mounts. We wound up putting the motor in again and started to figure out where we wanted to route power cables for the starter where the axle's gonna hit anything, they're, they're slightly different configuration. Um, what lines need to be converted? You know, power steering lines had to be changed. Air conditioning lines had to be changed. Uh, rear radiator hoses and pipes had to be changed to everything from a GT3. And once we figured that out, it was get online and had to order some parts new, found some good condition used, and we were able to kind of piece together the remaining of the, I mean, it's a huge list. There were hundreds of parts that went into this, just nuts, bolts, mounts, hoses, stuff you didn't expect, stuff we did expect. Day six and seven were spent moving engine in and out and fabricating up exhaust mounts to hold the mufflers, um, figuring out what headers would work that would clear all of our current exhaust plus the frame of the car because it's slightly different. Um, 07 GT3 was center exit exhaust and we didn't want to go that route. We wanted to keep it looking like the GG that she was. Um, so yeah, we spent 14, 15 hours basically making the rest of the exhaust and, and merging 2004 GT3 headers with uh, 997S catted X pipe and some Billy Boat mufflers. And the end result was it fit beautifully, it's strong. Uh, we welded it all up with stainless. Uh, so it should last a lifetime of the car and 
be what, uh, you know, what they've won. Getting ready to throw the engine in for the last time, I hope. Everything's clean, painted, hoses replaced, clips ready to go. So, <sighs> hopefully the last time. <laughs> See, they said Porsches were hard. It's got big arrows on everything. It tells you which way it's supposed to go. Goal of the day is get everything ready to go. So button up the motor, back popper on, all the heat shields on, which is already full of oil and coolant. So get everything hooked up, assembled, and ready to program the DME. We'll be ready to go. That should be tomorrow morning. Yeah, we just put some miles on. So three, 400 miles of testing, put it on the dyno. It did well, uh, you know, stock numbers looking at, I think we wound up with uh, 337 horsepower at the wheels and like 256 foot, seven foot pounds of torque. So basically stock. And now we're into the last steps where we're waiting for our seats, brand new Recaro race seats to come back. They're drilling holes through and, and uh, upholstering where the six point submarine boat comes down through you. And once that's done, that's it. She's complete, she's happy, and Dave is absolutely ecstatic about the car. We're absolutely just thrilled that we got to build it and that it turned out uh, exactly how we wanted it. Well, I think that's, that's the most important part. This business is really for the love of the cars, love of the drive, the, the passion of rare and unique automobiles and just that whole lifestyle and experience goes with it. That's the most important part. My name is Jonathan Newhall, uh, Newhall Mobile Works in Waynesboro, Virginia. Gearheads, always welcome. <laughs>